Hey guys, Skittle Rampage here. Welcome back to a new video. I do hope you're enjoying your day today. So today we do have some Funko News updates for you. It is now the end of the week and I wanna catch you up on a bunch of the things you might have missed, including lots of new drops, new things hitting stores and updates. Now, before we get started, we do have our question of the day as usual, which is, do you have any Funko Pops that are wearing purple? And I'm gonna go with Piccolo here. Let's kick off our Funko News updates with some pre-orders that dropped earlier this week that you might have missed. And if you need to pre-order any of these new pops, there are links down below in the description box. First up for Willie, Willy Wonka fans, we do have their brand new Willy Wonka where he's encased in chocolate. This releases in September. We also have the new Scott Pilgrim anime pops, including Scott Pilgrim and Ramona Flowers, the only two in the set, releasing in October. The next ones feature the new Marvel Classic set of Captain America, Hulk, Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Black Panther, releasing in August. And we even had a couple mystery minis for that same set. Next year, we had a couple new Pocket Pops here for Christmas, releasing in October. This includes some holiday characters, as well as Star Wars characters. For gamer fans, we did have Diablo 4, including Rogue, Mephisto, and The Butcher, releasing in October. We also had a new Hockey Pop releasing in November, as well as a bunch of new Star Wars Boba Fett Legacy Pops, including Boba Fett Glow in the Dark, Young Boba, Jango Fett, and another Boba Fett. And finally, we had a brand new Britney Spears Pop releasing in November. Next year, let's go over a couple new Pops and some drops that did happen. First off, for Deadpool fans, we do have first looks at our new exclusive Deadpool where he's holding the photo of Wolverine. It's a black and white photo as well, and it does have a heart over him. So basically, this was supposed to mimic the meme where, you know, Wolverine's laying on the bed, you know, kind of like pining over the photo. That's what we all thought it was going to be. Anyways, though, if you do like the pop, it's an Entertainment Earth exclusive dropping this coming week. Another brand new pop included Bob Gurr here for the Icons line. This is a D23 exclusive limited to 3,000 pieces. Now, we could also be seeing a bunch of different other D23 exclusives, so stay tuned for those. Next year for Hello Kitty fans, a recent drop was the It Sugar exclusive Hello Kitty. This one is in stock shipping now. We also had the Harry Potter with a birthday cake Barnes & Noble exclusive. Same situation, in stock shipping now. And the last bit of drops actually come from the Funko shop. We had a bunch of new things drop in stock. So taking a quick look here, we did have the new Jujutsu Kaisen wave, including Sukuna, Mekamaru, uh, Momo, Kamo, Utahime, and the Deluxe Moment. We also had the new Coraline set of three pops of YB, Spink Enforceable, and the Deluxe Coraline and Tunnel. And for sports fans, the Lou Gehrig Deluxe. Now the next page features a couple of the new Lord of the Rings pops, Snoopy and the Beagle Scouts, the TLC 3 packs, No Scrubs, Sasuke Curse Mark 2, as well as the new Shisui Glow in the Dark Amazon exclusive and Wednesday Adams. So head over to the Funko Shop if you need any new exclusives or commons. Next here, a couple different anime updates I had for you guys. So firstly here, going back to that Shisui we were just talking about, Quite a disappointing update on him. So take a look here. This is shared over for one of my Discord members. This is a look at the Shisui exclusive arriving from Amazon. So basically all the pre-orders have been actively shipping in the last week. So you can see on the right there is a glow in the dark picture. All you can really see is the sticker glowing and his eyes are the thing that are supposed to glow on this pop. They also updated the Amazon exclusive sticker. If you notice, it doesn't have that yellow line anymore on it. So the big problem here is that it's a red glow. Most of the red glows are usually terrible. If you did order this pop, the only way you're really gonna get those eyes to glow and probably for a very limited time is by using the sun or a white light. And those are the two options that I've noticed are especially good for red glows. Usually UV lights don't really do anything for them. So good rule of thumb, red glows, a white LED light and the sun. For every other glow, a UV light that you can get on Amazon or the sun. Oh, let me clarify that. You can't get the UV light on the sun. Don't go to the sun. I'm just saying that you can also use the sun to charge your pop. I won't lie though, I was fully expecting this to happen, so I'm not at all surprised. Let me know what you guys think about this exclusive. Are you bummed that it doesn't glow? or are you fine with it? The next update we do have is spotted at GameStop stores are some Frankie restocks. Now, why this is a big deal is because it does look like he does have the silver nose painted back on, and this is a 2024 release date for those wondering. So check your local GameStops for this one. The reason I'm mentioning the painted nose for those who don't know is that the last restock came with unpainted noses and the scar looked a little different. And overall the Frankie pops and a lot of the new straw hat pops and restocks had different features to them versus the original ones we did have. So it caused this huge uproar in value fluctuations between the OGs and the newer restocks. However, now Frankie is arriving with the correct look. So prices are starting to calm down again. However, I did want to also let you guys know that Frankie is also available on the Funko shop right now for like 12 bucks, I think, if you want to grab him from there and he should have the painted nose. 
just in case you can't find them in your local GameStop. Next up, for My Hero Academia fans, I want to let you guys know we had a recent exclusive drop at Hot Topic, and that was the brand new casual Todoroki here. So this one is in stock and shipping now. You can go over to the website and order this one. I believe stores will probably have them in stock within the next one or two weeks if you prefer to get it in store. I wouldn't say this is one of the strongest MHA releases. I don't even really see the need for this one at this point. And the reason I say that, I'm not saying that there aren't fans of this look for Todoroki. I think it's cool to have casual looks for some of the characters. I really like the Goku casual pot, for example. However, this late into the game, it feels just unnecessary. This is something we should have gotten way early on. Now we need to move on to more prominent looks and updated looks for the characters. This genuinely at this point for the My Hero Academia set with how big it is, just was not needed. Now our final anime update we do have is a full look at the common wave for Chainsaw Man Pops outside of the bloody chase here. So spotted on pop culture, we have a look at Makima, Power, Pochita, Aki, Denji, and Chainsaw Man here. So it's a great looking set of pops, honestly. I would just say that the boxes are just very boring, especially for how chaotic and bloody and just expressive this anime really is. I was really surprised that the boxes turned out so bland. So not one of the strongest detail choices there by Funko, in my opinion. However, another thing that is kind of bumming people out is Chainsaw Man specifically, and here's kind of a close up. It's due to him being sideways in the box. A lot of people would have preferred a straight on look, matching the other characters kind of looking up. It makes it look a little odd in the set. And I do agree. At the same time though, to make this specific character, if they have to turn him sideways to give him this full detail, I'm not gonna complain by any means, even if it does look a little odd. Again though, some of the pops in this wave do look really great. Some are lacking some details, but we're also gonna get future variations. This is just the first set. As far as pre-orders for this set, I do believe they're gonna start shipping in the next month or so. And if you haven't pre-ordered this set just yet, Amazon does have them. I'll have a link down below in the description. Next year, I wanted to show you a couple new pops that are hitting Hot Topic and Box Lunch stores currently. So firstly here on the left, we do have Morticia Adams from the new Adams Family set, Hiccup with Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon, and we also have some of the new retro toys pops like Etch-A-Sketch, as well as Pebble Flintstone from the Ad Icons line and the Honeycomb Monster. I gotta say, look at these two pops, that Etch-A-Sketch and the Honeycomb Monster, those are cursed especially that honeycomb, that is scary looking. <laughs> now a few more pops that are hitting Hot Topic stores on the right there include the new Marvel Classic set with Hulk, Black Panther, Captain America, and Iron Man. We also have the new Diablo 3 pop as well as a couple of the Chainsaw Man pops, Pochita and Makima. So hit up your local box lunches and Hot Topics for new releases. Final bit of news I have for you guys are some closer looks at upcoming pops here. Sharing them from Bully Boy Collectibles, here's a first look at the new Darth Vader retro cover. Definitely one of the cooler covers, honestly. I've always loved how much they detail the boxes for these, so can't wait to see it more in person. This next slide features some of the new Funko Fusion common pops here, so I gotta say that Megan looks incredible, as well as that Scaremare and Scareglow pop ride, incredible detail there. And more Funko Fusion includes the He-Man with Chase variation, also looks really great, but that Indominus Rex with the chase looks just crazy, crazy good. Now a couple more pops includes the new TMNT and Masters of the Universe collab set of Leonardo and Shredder. We also had the new Batman in that Hikari style, which just looks so beautiful. Love how the Hikaris always turn out. More includes the new Funko light up pops. We have Darth Vader, Jack Skellington, and Mickey Mouse. These also turned out really cool. Definitely fun ones for Halloween if you need decorations. And then the final closer look is the new Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. I can already tell this pop's gonna look great. So guys, that does bring your Funko news to a close for this week. Let me know in the comments below out of everything we just discussed if you guys have any further questions or what you're most excited about. Definitely a lot of crazy stuff coming. And as always, hit that like button down below if you did enjoy this video and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. I do wanna say a big shout out to all the awesome patrons supporters of the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and want to check out the page on the link is down below. We have a page only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And lastly, make sure you follow me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.